Now, in another worrying record, days ago, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres had said, and I'm quoting here, the era of global warming has ended and the era of global boiling has arrived. The European Union's Climate Observatory confirmed that the high temperatures in July brought record-breaking extremes across the world, marked as hottest month ever recorded on Earth. July was surrounded by heat waves and fires from around the world. And according to EU's Climate Observatory, the previous month was at least 0.33 degrees Celsius higher than the record set in July of 2019, when the average temperature was 16.6 degrees Celsius. Today, the World Meteorological Organization and the European Commission's Copernicus Climate Change Service are releasing official data that confirms that July 2023 is set to be the hottest month ever recorded in human history. Record heat comes with global average temperatures which have risen by at least 1.2 degrees Celsius since the 1800s. According to the United Nations, the current government policies will see average temperatures rise to at least 2.8 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The UN further underlined that the need for tougher targets and urge plans for major polluters at the UN's COP28 climate summit in Dubai later this year. And to keep levels to the 1.5 degrees Celsius warming limit, the IPCC says that the global greenhouse gas emissions need to peak before 2025 at the latest and should be reduced by at least 43% by 2030. No more hesitancy, no more excuses, no more waiting for the others to move first. There is simply no more time for that. It is still possible to, meet, to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius and avoid the very worst of climate change, but only with dramatic, immediate climate action. The United Nations said that the global mean for 2023 is the third highest on record and the gap between 2023 and 2016 is expected to narrow in the coming months. As the latter months of 2016 were rel relatively cool. While the remainder of 2023 is expected to be relatively warm as the current El Nino phenomena develops. And as the world continues to heat without any respite, European Union Climate Observatory data also showed how the heat spell is affecting the world oceans and is highlighting concerns about knock-on effects on the planet's climate. It's also affecting the marine life and the coastal communities.